good provider. Just because you can put a roof over my head does not make you a good man. A good man is a good man. He's kind. He's strong. He's compassionate. He's reliable. He doesn't cheat. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things that make good men good men beyond whether or not they keep the lights on and the mortgage paid. That's semantics. That's financial, period. There were a lot of very unhappy people in marriages for a very long time. I mean, you know this historically if you talk about the blue bloods the one percent of the one percent most of them have agreements you know because they're you know their mm -hmm. marriages are true business transaction you know still that so, way in a lot of parts of the world for sure for sure and that's what i'm saying is that so like to me marriage marriage isn't the determining factor of high value in terms of character yeah we agree on that and we, that, we agree on know, that but like but what i'm but, saying is so when you have this we agree on that but i'm but, telling you so now how do we determine what high value means. High value means exactly what it means. And it, it she's conflating arguments in order to try to justify her point and that she goes by what she feels instead of going by what's right and what's true. Here's the reality. If a man is making sure that you're not homeless and he provides a roof over your head and he makes sure that it's food in your belly, and you got electricity and those lights cut on and them property taxes and that mortgage is paid every single month and every month he goes out and every single day a little bit more of him dies a little bit more of him dies because let's be honest the value of a man is based off of provision and protection first meaning that when he has to go outside and he trades in his blood sweat and tears and he kills himself a little bit more every single day in order to ensure that you taken care of. That is a phenomenal. That is beyond good. That is beyond good. And so when I hear these conversations for people trying to justify how what is it they see things and whether or not they think that a man is good or not, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting because you'd rather go by what, whatever it is that you feel instead of going by what's true. This is why men are unappreciated. This is why there's always going to be a separation and why there needs to be a hierarchy in relationships with regard to women and men. Because what they think is good, what they even think love is, is a feeling. When in reality, love is an action word. Even in the Bible, it says faith without works is dead. The feeling without the actual physical motion means absolutely nothing and so you can feel however you want to feel i see people every day talking about how they love somebody and women on a regular basis will tell you that they love you today and they want you to to give them a baby and they adore you and you so great and oh my god you're the best thing that ever happened to her and then tomorrow she'll take you to child support court and make sure that she get not only half of everything that you have, but also make sure that she ruins your life for the rest of your life. It's women that will send you to jail. It's women that will tell you that they love you, and they did. They actually felt that way at that particular time. But the minute that you pissed them off, that word changed. I can't even make no good jokes off of that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing that I feel that I could really do in that situation, I, you're real life color purple at that point. <laughs> All oh, my life I had to fight. You know, silly. You know, go do do what you gotta do. You know. <laughs> you told to beat me. That's what I'm You told Harpo to beat me, bruh. I'm saying that's pretty much all I can do. I mean, that is the real life color purple. I'm amazed. <laughs> I will say this now. I will say this. High value, where the term comes from, y'all. It comes from the whole conversation about dating, yes. what men want, what women want. Okay. The term high value, as it has been popularized, has been about what women value in men. Yep. So that's where that's that's where a lot of that came from. Okay. So it makes sense for him to be like, hey, the only thing that really matters is provision and perfect protection. <laughs> Provision and protection matters first on the list when you're talking about high value on the dating market mm -hmm. specifically because mm -hmm. you don't even necessarily have to be a good guy. You don't have to be nice. You don't have to be anything. If you got that money and you can protect a woman, a lot of women will see you as having high value on the dating market. Yep. That, however, don't got nothing to do with actually being a good person. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy he brought the Bible up because I'm going to get him about that later. <laughs> but when 
when you talk about the dating market, that's what they care about more than anything. Yep. Women flock to the guys who have a lot of money and have the ability to protect them. Yes, sir. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. <laughs> it just sort of is. That's the thing. Now, does that mean that you're a good person? Uh, no. And that's what she's talking about. <laughs> Ooh, y'all try to have a marriage with somebody who ain't a good person. Oh, y'all in for it. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I usually mess with Anton. I agree with like 85, 90% of what he say, but this is a part of that 15% yep. or yeah, that 10% I, that I don't rock with. I'm trying to, I was going to say understand, but no, <laughs> I'm not. Um, how sway? How sway? The title says ungrateful woman. Mm -hmm. So she's ungrateful because she's saying that she wants someone who's caring yes. on top of being a provider because yep. that's the role that your husband your spouse that they're supposed to play uh -oh. just like if the shoe was on the other foot as a guy i'm pretty sure he would want his woman to be feminine want his woman to take care of him nurture his kids his family and different things you would expect that from your wife you would also expect her to be someone who is kind yep. someone who is nice to you someone <laughs> Who, oh, respect, of course, that yep. also comes with it. You would expect all those things. You wouldn't want your spouse to not care about you in a sense like they don't care about what you think because, well, that was your lack of respect. Mm -hmm. But you would want them to, to be those things. Yep. I don't understand. Why you would think that just because the male is fulfilling the space that he's supposed to fulfill in a relationship because he's doing that he doesn't have to be a nice person okay. where on the flip side it'd be the same thing like a woman if she's fulfilling that space in the relationship she doesn't have to be nice i would think that that would be an issue that he would have like if she's not nice like a nice person like nice to him at least mm -hmm. and his children you know what i mean yep. yeah well based off the title you're not a good man just because you pay the mortgage right i think that that is a good title from her perspective because i think that that is a true statement yep you paying the mortgage and all of that stuff can make you a high value man but it doesn't mean that you're necessarily a good man right i'm sorry i know that y'all have this whole thing about the cheating and i understand cheating between men and women is different mm -hmm. sex means different things to men than it means to to women yep. and we interact and relate to sex differently and all of that other stuff that's all cool yep. but if you're somebody who say constantly cheats on his woman versus a guy who doesn't cheat at all mm -hmm. the guy who doesn't cheat at all has better character than the person who cheats constantly yes. regardless of their pocketbooks but use your eyes your common sense since she brought up the bible this is one of the reasons why the bible said it's harder for a rich man to get into the kingdom of heaven than for a camel to get through the eye of a needle this is the reason why they have the story in the bible about the rich young ruler because most people would rather have the riches than to have jesus yep. than to have salvation than to have god than to be a good person right yes, and since we're talking about what the bible say uh -uh. about the type of person that you should be because uh, we're talking about a good man not right. just a high value man a high right. value man and a good man are different things mm -hmm. the bible also talks about the fruits of the spirit which means this is the evidence that you have god in you this is the evidence that you are a person who follows god follows mm -hmm. jesus and it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace forbearance kindness oh, hello goodness faithfulness gentleness <gasps> and self-control okay. self-control for the cheating <gasps> kindness because you're not supposed to treat your wife like a douchebag. <laughs> now, on the flip side, 100% agree there is a concerted effort to diminish the role that men play in the home yes. as the breadwinners. If the man is sitting there working 14 hours a day, you need to give him respect for busting his tail mm -hmm. to bring home the bacon and bring home the money. Yep. You need to respect him. You need to understand what that means and the mm -hmm. toll that it takes on him. I 100% agree with all of that. Mm -hmm. But you could work 16 hours a day. If you come home and you're a tyrant, I know this because I had to deal with a situation very similar to that in my home mm -hmm. with an amazing provider, but not necessarily the nicest person. Mm -hmm. Thank God later on that changed. Yeah, <laughs> and our relationship improved. Joy! Joy! Joy. But that is something that I have to fight with constantly yep. because it left me with things. There are consequences to what y'all do. And there are consequences. And I don't understand why anybody would think that there are not going to be consequences for the things you do. Mm -hmm. Whether it is that you don't provide or you're not a kind nice person, at least to your family. There are consequences for that stuff. Consequences can be dire. 
it's because of that that I have to deal with my horrendous temper. Yep. It's because of that I didn't let people get close to me. Yep. And these are things that I have to deal with. Now I'm older, I have to take responsibility for all of my actions, but the reality is you are programmed from a child to move a certain way depending on the situation in your household. There's a reason why people who grow up in low income, poor ghettos and neighborhoods have harder times when it comes to assimilating into society. And those are the people that fill our jails. And those are the people that are um, drug addicted. Because most people do not survive the situations in which they were raised. Right. There are exceptions. Yep. There are Jay-Z's. Yep. But for every Jay-Z, there is 500,000 people who did not make it, Damn. who wouldn't make it because they never get past it. There's a reason why the Bible says train up a child in a way that they will they should go and they will never depart from it. Mm -hmm. Because the way that you raise your children is instrumental mm -hmm. in how they will be as adults. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. All of that stuff matters. You know what? For a Christian, I show him spitting a whole bunch of Bible stuff. Look, <laughs> I did grow up in the church and all of that is very much a part of me. Mm -hmm. But the reality is the truth is the truth. And I think that he's conflating because mm -hmm. he looks at anybody who says anything against the guy because he is providing mm -hmm. that that means that they're ungrateful. No, it's you said truth, right? If you're a jerk in the home, you're a jerk in the home. Yep. Period. Period. If you make your home uncomfortable for everybody, you make your home uncomfortable for everybody. Yep. Even if you're the one paying for it, I could be grateful to you for paying for the house, yes. but it does not change the fact that you make it hell to live here. And that's not gonna change the effects that it has on everybody psychologically mm -hmm. and mentally. Like you're talking about emotions, we're talking about mental stuff. And I guess the idea is, Kevin used to say similar things, and these are one of the things that I did disagree with him about, yep. about it doesn't matter about how I am and how I speak to you and oh, this, yes, that, and the does. third, and I need to, <laughs> yo, bro, like if you really wanna talk about it, if y'all wanna go and y'all wanna start digging out the Bible, bro, and they start talking, the one thing that you are told to do as a man is to love your wife. And then they start breaking down what love looks like. And though y'all trying to take all of the other stuff out of it because you don't feel that you should necessarily have to be kind to women. Oh, Bruh, bro. read the whole Bible. You know what? This is a beautiful thing about Google. If you have a subject, you can type the subject in <laughs> and say Bible, and it'll bring up all of the verses in the Bible about that there subject. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can start to cross-reference stuff, because that's the thing about the Bible. The Bible is not a novel. The Bible right? is a puzzle. Uh -huh. It'll tell you something here. That's good. That boy is good. Good and terrible. And bro. then you got to go over there to get clarification on what it means over here. Yep. Like, that's the thing about the Bible. It's, mm -hmm. it's more difficult than most people think. That's part of the reason why most people don't read it. Because mm -hmm. it's more difficult to digest. Because mm -hmm. you'll sit up there and you'll read something and you'll be like, okay, I got it. That's how we're supposed to do. And then you'll find out three months later, it's another verse that be like clarifies that. And you'll be like, oh, that ain't 100% what it meant. That was like, I was like 65% there, but I missed this 45. Yep. You have to be humble mm -hmm. if you're using the Bible as a reference point because first of all, it's, it's, it's long. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pages in there. Bruh. And then it's not always easy to find everything. It's not necessarily a table of contents on exactly where everything is so that you can get the full picture. <sighs> <laughs> All right, look, I'm going to be simple, especially coming from the, the biblical perspective. Mm -hmm. Those are the fruits of the spirit. So that means that the opposite of those fruits of the spirit are the fruits of who? Ah, uh, uh, no thanks. The spirit has very particular fruits. Mm -hmm. Everything that is the opposite mm -hmm. of the fruits of the spirit are the fruits of who? So if you're going to use the Bible, Talk to him. you trying to justify being a douchebag, Yikes. you are not fulfilling God's work. Nope. Nope, I'm not. You are fulfilling the work of Satan. Thanks, but no thanks. Mm -hmm. Flat out. So I don't understand where this mentality comes. I make enough money so I can just act a certain way. <gasps> Understanding that men and women don't talk the same. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. We will never speak like they do. We ain't got time to sit up there and be worried about these words that y'all y'all just naturally just spit them all out Bruh. so that y'all can get around to y'all point. We <laughs> tend to be more straightforward and to the point. Nothing wrong with that. Yes. But you can be straightforward and to the point and still be a kind hearted person yep. and still be nice. That doesn't mean that you have to be a pushover. You got that right. Yeah. I see the battery going down, y'all, so I'm, I'm gonna wind down. <laughs> it's about to die in a minute. I don't know, do you wanna come back and end it? I didn't really have anything else to say. I thought you did a great job. Okay, well, that was it. We might just cut off on y'all, so I'm going to just be real quick. All right, we'll see y'all later. Peace. Subscribe. <laughs> Press the <off> button. <laughs>